started burning off this brush pile and that got me thinking that maybe there was something I could do to make the Ruger Max 9 a little hotter while I was at it. With this being the first gun video that I'm doing after I finish the truck, uh, most of the content that I have here is stuff that I had previously recorded but had not had a chance to put together. The gun in question today, the Ruger Max 9. Now you might not be able to tell what it is inside this cool CYA holster. This is my favorite type of inside the waistband holster for a concealed carry pistol. Uh, some of you have uh, brought this up in the past and I'll show you on this one. This holster does cover the magazine release so there's not much chance of you accidentally releasing your magazine sitting in a car seat or at your desk or whatever. But moving on from that, let me show you here. The Max 9. Folks, this is a safe and empty weapon. You'll notice this pistol already has the Galloway Precision Maxxis SS trigger installed on it. You'll also notice that somewhere along the way, I lost the manual safety on this pistol. I didn't do any of the gunsmithing on this pistol on camera. Last time I did that, which was the Taurus GX4 video, where I changed the front sight to that Ameriglow front sight, the YouTuber Thought Police held that, that video next to the memory hole for four days before they finally published it. So I decided, you know what, Galloway Precision has a video that documents how to do the trigger swap step by step. Everything else that I did on this pistol was just shenanigans and I cannot recommend that you do it. So here I'll show you from a couple of weeks ago where I had taken the Max 9 out to shoot it and I was shooting at 10 yards at a paper plate as fast as I reasonably thought I could hit that paper plate. I was not aiming for precision bullseye marksmanship, just trying to get a defensive group on a paper plate. I was able to do that. The trigger, as it came from the factory, was not necessarily a horrible trigger. I just really didn't like it. It reminded me of a cluster of bananas hanging off of the the front of it and it was way too far forward and it was awkward for me to use and it kind of had a tactile feel of a loose tooth. So here's that video that shows me shooting it. You'll notice in the second part where I was trying to use the slide release to drop the slide and I had to quickly remember and transition to a slingshot, which is one of the other things that I didn't like about this pistol. The group was reasonable. It was 10 yards shooting out at the range over here next door that the guy lets me use. So now we'll move forward and I'll show you on the tabletop the before and after of that trigger. Okay, so here we have the Ruger Max 9. Move the magazine. Verify it is a safe and empty weapon. No slide release on this one. It's just got a slot, slide stop. Okay, so I wanted to show you here this trigger and how much play it has in it. I don't know if you can really see that on the camera too much, but this thing wiggles like a loose tooth and then it's got this exaggerated dingus in the middle of it here. The trigger really has a huge amount of take up before the break. Once it breaks and the trigger's dead, you can really see how much wallow there is in that trigger wheel. Also, the middle blade, very loose and flimsy feeling, and it sticks forward a little bit further than what is comfortable for me to reach. Show you that again. In that break, once you take the little blade up, it kind of, you don't feel it so much, but there's probably more than half an inch of travel there. With that trigger safety so far forward, it almost kind of feels like you're having to pick this thing's nose to get your finger in the trigger guard. Now, 
we have the Galloway Precision trigger installed on the uh, Max 9. I can tell you it wasn't extremely difficult to change it out, but my advice would be watch the video from the Galloway Precision website. And if you think for a minute that it might be beyond your scope to change it, don't try it because it was definitely more difficult than what he made it look like in his video. That leads me to believe he had probably done it a few times before he made that video. Suffice it to say, empty magazine, empty weapon. Look at the look at this trigger. For starters, there's zero. Remember all that loose tooth wiggle that we had before? There's zero side to side play in this trigger. And get a load of this take up. That's it, folks. That's all the pre-travel in that trigger. Show you that again. There's probably less than a quarter of an inch of pre-travel in that trigger. So we have the new trigger installed. As you can see, I'll show you here again, it's a very short take up followed by a very crisp break. There's not much in the way of over travel after the trigger goes click. There's no side to side play in this. It's a much better feel to the trigger than the factory trigger. But is it actually a much better trigger? Let's go back out to the range and see. I promised you guys when I finished the truck, I'd get back on it. So here I am in my specialty crock so I don't get my feet wet. I'm going to try out that new Galloway uh, Maxxis trigger that I put on the uh, Ruger Max 9. We'll see how it works. So as you can see, the group really didn't improve that much. I can tell you the trigger felt better, and once I have some rounds through it, I'm sure I'll be more proficient with it. I kind of screwed up, and I left my plate hanging there, and I shot another pistol on top of it, so there's more than the 21 holes that I had shot at the range in this plate. With the exception of a couple of flyers, that's not a terrible sized group for a defensive group, but it's not great. I'm not a great shot, never claimed to be. Uh, is the Galloway Precision Trigger worth the money? Eh, what was it, 30 bucks? It feels a lot better. If I were inclined to carry this pistol in a defensive capacity, that would have increased greatly with the new trigger. It was not a super simple install, but it wasn't terribly difficult. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it was worth the money. I don't know. What do you think? But anyway, it's great being back. I'm glad I was able to make this little gun video for you. Let me know in the comments down there. Hit the like if you want to. Hit the dislike if you want to. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. You guys are doing a great job with that. Thank you. God bless.